الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على عبد الله ورسوله نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد After praising Allah and after asking Allah to exalt the mention and grant peace to our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to his family and his companions I would like to greet you with the greeting of Islam Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh In this series which is called Ramadan Mercy and Blessings we are looking at some of the khasais of Ramadan the special qualities that make Ramadan what it is and no doubt one of the special qualities of Ramadan is that it is the month of reward and the month of multiplication of your deeds and there is a beautiful hadith in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said that Allah Azza wa Jal said so this is what we call hadithun qudusi hadith qudusi and a hadith which the Prophet narrates from Allah and it says kullu amal ibn adam lahu illa siyam fa innahu li wa ana ajzi bih every single action that the children of adam does is their action and they will be rewarded for it in some narrations or in some different wordings of the hadith it mentions bi ashri amthalha ila sab'imiati dhif from 10 times to 700 times illa siyam except for fasting fa innahu li fasting is for allah azza wa jal what does it mean for, it's for allah in another hadith it's explained yada' yani the person yada'u shahwatahu wa ta'amahu min ajli the person leaves their desires and their food for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they give up eating they give up drinking they give up permissible relations and they do all of that only for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the normal rules of reward bi ashri amthalha yani al hasanatu bi ashri amthalha you get from 10 ila 700 dhif until 700 times reward illa siyam but not fasting allah azza wa jal rewards whatever he wants for it and doesn't follow the rules whatever allah azza wa jal wants even if it is more than the 700 wallahu yudha'ifu liman yasha allah multiplies the reward for whoever he wants the 10 that is normal al hasanatu bi ashri amthalha every reward you get you get it 10 times over sometimes allah azza wa jal gives you 700 up to 700 times but fasting there is no limit on it allah azza wa jal said wa ana ajzi bi i am the one who rewards whatever i want for it and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us that allah azza wa jal said as-siyam jannah fasting is a shield and in some narrations it mentions yastajinu biha or bihi al-abdu min an-nar yani a person they protect them it's a shield against the hellfire think about all the things that fasting shields you from not only the rewards but all the things that fasting shields you from you are shielded from falling into the haram you are shielded from the things that lead you to jahannam in any case the doors of jahannam are closed in the month of ramadan so what you're finding is that every single thing which would take a person to the hellfire fasting is a shield from it it's a shield in terms of what you say and it's a shield in terms of what you do so that is why we see even people who are maybe struggling to practice as much as they would like maybe not able to implement as much as they would like 
But still in Ramadan, they are keeping away from many of the things that they were doing at other times. And they are making lasting changes to themselves. And for the whole month of Ramadan, they are keeping away from many, many things. And that is because as-sawmu jannah, fasting is a shield. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, فَإِذَا كَانَ يَوْمُ صَوْمِ أَحَدِكُمْ فَلَا يَرْفُثْ وَلَا يَصْخَبْ He said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when the day of fasting comes from one of you, فَلَا يَرْفُثْ الرفث, it comes with two meanings. Of course, الرفث comes with the meaning of intimacy. Uh, as Allah Azza wa Jal said, أُحِلَّ لَكُمْ لَيْلَةَ الصِّيَامِ الرفث إلى نسائكم it is permissible for you in the nights of Ramadan to be intimate with your spouse. But it also comes with the meaning of bad language and raising your voice and behaving rudely. It also came with that meaning. And that is from the meaning that is mentioned with regard to the Hajj. فَلَا رَفَثَ وَلَا فُسُوقَ وَلَا جِدَالَ فِي الْحَجْ There must be no رَفَث يعني no bad language وَلَا فُسُوق No major sins وَلَا جِدَالَ And no arguing with each other in Hajj فَلَا يَرْفُثْ Don't let this person use any bad language Don't let this person use get into any f- sort of obscenity or rude behavior Don't let him do any of that وَلَا يَصْخَبْ And don't let him start to يعني, They say and يَصْخَبْ is the speech that leads to arguments and fighting and he being argumentative with people, raising your voice, starting an argument, going back and forth with something, with someone. Don't let him do it, either of these two things. فَإِنْ سَابَّهُ أَحَدٌ أَوْ قَاتَلَهُ So if somebody swears at him, or somebody rebukes him, or someone starts to fight him, فَلْيَقُلْ إِنِّي مْرُؤٌ صَائِمٌ Let him say, I'm fasting. In some of the narrations, إِنِّي صَائِمٌ إِنِّي صَائِمٌ I'm fasting. Imagine that. You're not just fasting from food and drink and intimacy and the things which break the fast. You're fasting from bad language. You're fasting from abusive behavior. You're even fasting from fighting and arguing with people. Because remember, a song, fil fasting in the language, it means al imsak, holding back from something. And from it is the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal with regard to Maryam alayha salam إِنِّي نَذَرْتُ لِلرَّحْمَانِ صَوْمًا فَلَنْ أُكَلِّمَ الْيَوْمَ إِنْسِيَّ I have sworn to the most merciful that I will fast so I will not speak to anyone today. So you're not just fasting from food and drink but you're fasting from bad language and argumentative behavior and fighting people. And even if someone starts to fight you and push you around and shout at you just say to them, Inni sa'im, inni sa'im. I'm fasting, I'm fasting. And I'm fasting, it's not the time for this argumentative behavior. I'm fasting. And even though this is during the fast in the day, from the rewards of fasting, it's during the fast in the day. At the end of the day, we have to remember that this should carry on into the behavior in the night. Of course, the person will not say, in Nisa'im, I'm not fasting at that time. But the person, even in the night, should not be the case that Maghrib comes and they start to bring all of the Muharramat, the things which are haram, they didn't do in the daytime, they do it then. No, it shouldn't be like that. Rather, the person should be someone who tries to uphold that standard of behavior even during the evening times and the night times. Don't let anyone fight you. In Nisa'im, in Nisa'im. Sometimes we see the people driving home and it's close to iftar in a lot of Muslim countries and everyone's driving a bit fast and cutting in front of people and making problems. Don't start doing that to other people. فَلَا يَرْفُثْ وَلَا يَسْخَبْ Don't let anyone behave rudely or use bad language or start a fight with someone. And if someone does that to you, say, إِنِّي مْرُؤٌ صَائِمٌ إِنِّي صَائِمٌ I'm fasting. Then the Prophet ﷺ, he said, وَلِلصَّائِمِ فَرْحَةً There will be two times when the fasting person is going to be so happy. When they break their fast, إِذَا أَفْتَرَ فَرِحْ And when the person breaks their fast, they become so happy because they broke their fast. And when the person 
meets Allah, they will be so happy with the reward that Allah gives them for that fast. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the reward of fasting by itself. How about fasting in Ramadan, which is 29 or 30 fasts? On top of that, it is Shahrun Mubarak, a blessed month. The rewards, you cannot imagine them. If the reward of one day of fasting, some of the narrations mentioned that the person's face is kept away from the fire 70 years because of one day fasting. Allah keeps his face away from the hellfire 70 years because one day. Now imagine you fast the whole month of Ramadan and it's the month of Ramadan. It's not just regular Monday and Thursday fasting. It's not Ayyam al the white days. It is a special fasting of Ramadan, Shahrun Mubarak, a fast which is fard. Iftarad Allahu alaykum siyama. Allah has made the fasting obligatory. How amazing is the reward that a person would get? And then the person is not just leaving food and drink for the sake of Allah and intimacy for the sake of Allah, but the person is also leaving bad language and argumentation and rude behavior. All of that the person is leaving. What would the reward be? Only Allah knows. But the hadith indicates it will be more than the normal between 10 and 700 times reward it will be more than that. Wallahu yudha'ifu li man yasha. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, it makes sense at this point to talk about the things which decrease the reward. Now, I'm not talking about the things which break the fast, because it's not a fiqh lesson to tell you, you know, this breaks the fast, this breaks the fast, this breaks the fast. What are the things that decrease from your reward? No doubt we mentioned some of them. Al-Rafath, Al-Fusuq, Wala Yaskhab, the person doesn't behave rudely, doesn't use bad language, doesn't, uh, yani doesn't uh, get into fights with people, doesn't behave in a way that is sinful or disobedient to Allah Azza wa Jal, particularly al-fisq, al-fusuq, yani major sins and evil deeds. A person keeps away from these things. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he mentioned specifically the issue of qawl zur false witness and lying. And a person doesn't leave false witness and lying. Allah has no need for this person to leave their food and drink. Allah doesn't need this person to leave their food and drink. Allah has no need of your fast. Rather your fast, it benefits you and you do it because Allah deserves that you worship Him. He doesn't need it. So if you're not going to fast with the right mentality of leaving the major sins, of leaving continuously doing the minor sins, of leaving bad language and argumentation and rude behavior and fighting with people and uh, false witness and lying and backbiting and slander, if you're not going to leave those things, then ultimately, perhaps a fasting person like the Prophet wasallam, he spoke and he said, perhaps a fasting person will only get from their fast al-ju' wal atash. The person just gets hungry and thirsty. And perhaps a person will only get from their qiyam At-ta'ib was-sahar. The person will just stay up all night and feel tired. Perhaps a person fasting will only get from their fast just thirst and hunger. Because it's not a fast that is being done in the way that Allah required it. Yes, there are mubtilat as-sawm. Things that completely remove the fast completely. But there are also many things that they take away from the reward of fasting and they reduce the multiple rewards that you can get. So be careful not to fall into them. Look at yourself with regard to your behavior. Sometimes people get irritable when they are fasting, right? Especially in the month of Ramadan, it's many fasts, they get frustrated, they get irritable. Maybe even when driving, they start to 
you know, get irritated with the other people on the road because they just want to get home quickly. But all of these things, my brothers and sisters, they take away from the reward of the fasting. And perhaps a person would be so bad in the way they behave towards other people that Allah might take all of the reward of their fasting away. They're still fasted. They don't make it up. They're still a person who fasted. But at the end of the day, they actually didn't get from their fast anything extra other than the fact that they fasted that day. And that's not what we want. We want what we mentioned in the beginning of this episode of the multiple rewards, more than the 700 times, the shield from the hellfire, the happiness on the day of judgment. We want all of that. The dua which is accepted, that's the reward we want. But to do that, we have to avoid, of course, the things which break our fast, but we also have to avoid the things that detract from it. Lying, false testimony, swearing by Allah for things that aren't true, uh, and all the things that go on in businesses where people lie about things and cheat other people, and backbiting and slander, and all of these different types of things, and the actions of fusuq. And particularly, my brothers and sisters, I really want to emphasize that this must be the whole time. It must not be during the day. So someone says, look, I'm not going to lie during the day. Wait, wait, wait. Maghrib? Okay, now I will lie and I will cheat. I will I mean, give false witness. I will steal people's money without right. I will eat haram and drink haram and do haram because Maghrib came. That's not the mentality of a Muslim when it comes to the month of Ramadan. So in this video, we wanted to tell you the amazing rewards that are there for fasting the month of Ramadan. But we also want to tell you the danger of losing out on those rewards if you don't take Ramadan with a complete holistic perspective of leaving the things which detract from your reward. That is what Allah made easy for me to mention and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Wassalatu wassalam ala Muhammad. وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين